I seem to get more and more people ask me recently, do I know about Prezi and do I know how to work it with Ecamm or does it work with Ecamm? So I figured it's about time we made this video. Now we're not going to be doing a tutorial of Prezi. I'll leave other people to do that for you. This really is a how to connect it. And as I started looking at this and I went and downloaded it, how to play with it, I figured there's actually two ways of coming at this. Firstly, there's using Ecamm's virtual camera to come into Prezi. And you might want to do that because Ecamm allows you to use your DSLR camera with a USB connection. And maybe Prezi isn't seeing that. So that's scenario one. And the second one would be what I think is probably more popular is getting a Prezi presentation into Ecamm. So let's look at both of them. In fact, we're going to do the second one first. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to the Prezi website and uh, I would take one of their 14 day trials just to have a look around this. You'll then be able to log into your dashboard over here and you can do some of this online from their web platform, but they do recommend that you download the app. So come down here to download apps. And the one that we're interested in is the Prezi video for desktop. Uh, free to download, so click that set that download in. Now, once that is down, just run through their installer. It's pretty straightforward. Then you'll have this little icon, Prezi video, open it up. And for the sake of this, we're going to create a new video. So you can actually pull in a pre-made PowerPoint. Uh, you can pull in from Prezi, which is the web-based version. So we're going to click on here and start a new presentation. I'll pull it up here on my window. So this is about like being in PowerPoint or something that you've got a set of slides that you can have down the side here. I haven't used this in a presentation, but I totally get why you would want to use this. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with this actually and run through your presentation and your slides. Uh, there's a whole load of themes and styles down here that you can use. Uh, you could totally have a great time with this. I think this second one down here actually worked quite nicely with my background. Um, so let's have a look at what we do. We can add some content to this. So maybe we call this How to Connect Ecamm with Prezi. We can add another one in here. So you can see um, it's pretty straightforward for me to just add its most basic, add something in like this. And obviously I'd need to, in this presentation, sit off to the side for it. Um, but yeah, just as simple as that, you can jazz this up a bit and uh, better than just a static slideshow coming in. And maybe this is simpler than needing to go to PowerPoint or to Keynote and work out how to do these transitions and things. Uh, yeah, I like it. I get it. If we wanted to add images, there's a whole stack of them there that it would just bring across or icons. We could find some um, things just to add this. You get the idea. That's enough for me for now is just to be able to demonstrate this and um, yeah. All right. Uh, so I've got my content here. Now, video conference. If I wanted now to go live with this thing. Okay. So I've just turned off Ecamm so that it can't see it. This is, I've already connected it to Ecamm and I want you to see it, how it would come in for you. Let me stay to the side of this presentation. Uh, so I'm going to hit video conference and it will say, am I wanting to go into Zoom, Teams, Google Me, all of these other ones, or choose popular apps. So I can hit choose. I don't have to select Ecamm. At the minute, it says at the bottom here, status is disconnected. So now when I open up Ecamm Live, it's already connected it for me. And uh, for you, if it doesn't already, what you're going to do is come into Ecamm Live and come up into the camera and select Prezi Video Virtual Camera. And as you can see, that's now come straight into here. And over on the Prezi app, it says status connected to Ecamm done. So I can now move through in my Prezi app and I can start over here and I can talk away and do my presentation. And it's a case for me of clicking through down here with the arrows and I'm running through this presentation and you can see instantly that is now feeding in here into Ecamm. So um, yeah, that's how you do it. Simple as that. If you're getting any problems with it, I would just uh, close Ecamm down and uh, open it back up again once you've got Prezi open and it should find it there. You should see it in your camera sources. If that's still not working, 
Maybe just restart your whole computer, open up Prezi first, then open a PCAM. If that's still not working, let me know in the comments, but I can't think why it wouldn't. So let's come at this with our second scenario. And maybe this time around, we've got this same presentation and we're going to go from Prezi, maybe straight out to Zoom or something so we don't need to come into Ecamm as our output, but we do want to use Ecamm as our source. And uh, those of you that have got DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras, and you use the USB connection to go into Ecamm, you'll realize that it doesn't work for other applications like Zoom or Prezi or things like this. So we can use the virtual cam feature from Ecamm and we're going into Prezi this time around. So we're starting off in Ecamm and I'm gonna select up here, output, virtual cam, turn it on. If you haven't done this before, it will say, it'll prompt you to install virtual cam. You need to do that first of all. And uh, now I can see that I'm in virtual cam because I've got this little symbol up here that tells me that it's on. Right, now over to Prezi. So this is purely, so this is purely my camera feed coming through Ecamm that I'm sending across. In fact, let me take this off so we can see what is coming through there from Ecamm. And uh, that now is going to be feeding into Prezi. So we open up our Prezi window. Again, I'm running this from the app and inside Prezi, see along the top, it says camera. Now, chances are you're not going to see Ecamm Virtual Cam because I've just used this once already, so it's remembered it. If you've done it as quick as that, it won't have picked it up inside Prezi. So you can refresh the camera list to make sure it's there. Try it again. And same thing applies. If you find that um, it isn't coming into that list, close Prezi down, uh, Ecamm can stay open, make sure it's properly shut, actually go down to the app, right click it and say quit, open it back up again, and then as you click on Prezi, you'll see along the top here, camera and Ecamm virtual cam should come in. So now when I click on that, this is the feed coming through from Ecamm into Prezi. And then from here, I can go out to, <laughs> that's, um blipping on me at the minute because it's trying to go to Ecamm. If maybe I wanted to go to Zoom, then I've got to sign in and head out that way. But that's how I'm doing this and connecting it up. Now I need to stop that because it's not happy with me. Okay, so two different ways that you can integrate and connect Prezi with Ecamm. Hopefully you found that useful and it answered your questions. If it didn't, please ask us in the comments below. I'll happily have a look into this and update it if need be. And if you're currently using Prezi and Ecamm, let us know about it. Now you can actually share a link with me inside the YouTube comments, but you're very welcome to come over to our Facebook group and share a link to it there. Obviously we don't want you trying to spam us with anything, but if it's a genuine presentation that you've done and you just wanna share a few minutes of it, uh, I definitely would be very interested to have a look. So. That group is listed in the description below. As ever, if you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got a load more Ecamm videos coming your way and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Thanks so much. I'll see you in another of those videos.